This is the VPO ad made by the Reliable Typewriter and Adding Machine Company in Chicago. Or maybe the VPO ad company? It's a transe device like the much more popular Adiator or the much less popular Master. It comes glued into this case, which is kind of nice. Mine still has the original stylus, and I've also got the original directions and the original box. I'm just going to make a bold statement here. Of all the old computing devices I know, the VPO ad has the stupidest name. It's supposed to stand for Vest Pocket Adder, so should I be pronouncing it VPO ad? That sounds even stupider. They made a variant called the Exacto. I guess that stands for Extra Acrobatic Totalizer? Extremely Acidic Tomato? I don't know. They had some pretty bold claims in their advertising. Here's an ad from 1930 that says it's the most amazing invention in 25 years. I guess it must have just barely beat out the invention of the jet engine in 1928, the discovery of penicillin in 1928, TV antenna in 1826, armored tank in 1915, first live TV broadcast in 1909, cellophane and bakelite in 1908, nitrogen 1909, plant fertilizers in 1909, first rotary wing aircraft in 1907. Really, I don't think this thing even counts as an invention. It's based on an original design called the Trancé Arithmograph, which was invented 35 years earlier in 1895. I've got the original box and it's in very good shape. The Vipo ad was in production from the 1930s. This is a magazine ad from 1930. But judging from the condition of the cardboard of my box, I think mine isn't that old. But the price on the box here says $2.95, which is the same as the price in the ad from 1930. So maybe it is that old. The VPO ad uses a standard tranche type mechanism like the Adiator, which I did a video about. To enter a number, you slide the digits down, and then to add another number, you just slide its digits. Usually you slide down, but whenever a carry happens, you need to slide up and push down on the next column's tab. That makes the carry. This is a great little design. You get a visual cue here. Whenever you see these red dots, that means your next slide needs to be up instead of down. If you know what you're doing, you can add up a bunch of numbers real quick. Let's try this out. To clear the machine back to zero, there's this tiny tab at the top that you pull. All tranche type devices are pretty much the same. The only difference you really notice is how the machine handles a double carry. Like if you want to do 99 plus 1, it has to carry two digits at once, and the mechanism isn't really built to do that. On the Adiator, these little arrows pop up, and they signal you to slide the next row all the way up. What happens on the VPO ad? Check this out. I got my 99 in there, and I want to add 1. One is in the red, so I'm going to slide up and over, but what happens? You just can't. When the next digit over is a 9, the carry area is blocked, so you can't do the carry. The directions tell you what to do in this case. Hey, did I mention I have the original directions? Uh, I guess I did. Anyway, if stylus is blocked when going up and over, which happens perhaps once in a thousand cases, <laughs> Leave figure up and simply bring stylus over into the next column to the left. Insert at large figure 1 and move stylus up, over, and down in the usual way. See example for practice BB. It ends up being equivalent to the Adiator's arrow system, but there's no visual reminder of exactly what you're supposed to be doing. I always end up having to pause and remind myself. By the way, what does this BB mean? They're talking about this example on the next page. Really, I don't know what that means. It's a pretty solid tranche, although I like the Adiator better. On the Adiator, the tracks have this candy cane type shape, which encourages you to make the full up and over motion. Here it's not a candy cane shape. The top of the track is just a wide rectangle. The clearing bar isn't too great either. It's really small and feels kind of flimsy. Mine even wobbles from side to side, which doesn't feel good at all. I'm not sure if they were all like this or if mine has somehow come loose inside. It's a lot wider than the Adiator, and it weighs about twice as much, too. Actually, I like the size of this thing. The Adiator is so light that I feel like it would bend if I had it in my pocket and I sat down wrong. The Vipo Ad isn't at all heavy, but it feels like something. And the built-in case is nice, too. 
Looks like some kind of fabric, but really it's just heavy cardboard with a weird kind of burlap pattern printed on it. The flippy top is kind of fun. It's like a TV police badge. Actually, that's how I describe this whole thing. It's kind of fun. This is a real machine, which is more or less as good as the Adiator, but it's got a silly name, silly instructions, silly marketing. It's not trying to be silly, but it is. Mm -hmm.